he is rather intimidating even at this size. All he needs to do is swing his head once in the wrong direction. If he catches your knee, leg broken. So he uh, just doesn't know his own strength. Over the years, I have had the chance to work with many adorable baby animals, but none of them were built like a tank. Today I'm visiting the Zululand Conservation Trust's Rhino Orphanage, and for the past year, they have been tending to the needs of a little orphan rhino named Lyco. Lyco arrived at the orphanage several days after being born. Malnourished and grossly underweight, he was extracted from the wild because his mother had an infected abscess on her udder, which made it impossible for him to properly feed. The milk distributed from a cow to her calf is crucial. It contains a fluid known as colostrum, which has rich levels of antibodies necessary to promote growth and health in newborn mammals. So in the wild, without it, Lyco would have certainly died. Smells good. This is not baby rhino milk powder, it is horse. Millions of years ago, rhinos and horses shared a common ancestor. And today, they're both classified under the order Perissodactyla. That goes on top. And now, it's time to feed Lyco. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That is some serious chugging power right there. Now, at any point, do I want to give Lyco a little bit of a break, or is it just, uh-oh, Dorothy. That's Dorothy, Lyco's friend. I, I know I didn't make any milk for you, I'm sorry. Almost there, almost there. And that's it. You drink it all. Coyote's special blend consumed in just a matter of seconds. Uh, and now we go to pellets? Yeah. Hand feeding? Yeah. So do I just kind of put it flat like I was feeding a horse? Put your hand inside. Oh. Uh, they don't have teeth in the front. Yeah, so just those big squishy lips. Yeah. Okay, all right, here we go. We're going hand into a rhino lip. There we go. Get my hand all the way up in your hole. Oh, their lips are so squishy and very slobbery. I'll be sure to use my hand sanitizer after this, okay? That is a handful of baby rhino slime. At the orphanage, Lyco was placed under the constant care of Simone, where he was fed milk every two hours, while plasma drip helped strengthen his immune system. Eventually, this skinny little rhino began to show signs of improvement as his weight increased and he gained noticeable strength to add to his very rambunctious personality. Um, he's been in my care at the, at the facility since he was day one. Wow. Uh, one day old, yeah. So we have a very strong bond. That's really special for me. I uh, didn't actually realize how um, a rhino could bond with a human um, so closely and yeah, it's, it's incredible. White rhinos are quite gregarious, so once he was healthy enough, Lyco was provided a companion. An athletic, all attitude, take no funny business from anyone goat, named Dorothy. They were besties at first sight, and since that day, they have been inseparable. After a nutritious breakfast, it was time for some exercise. And you never know what's going to happen when you enter the paddock of an 800-pound baby who has no concept of his own strength. This is part of daily enrichment right here. Being out in the exercise boma. He's got a little tail wag going. Careful, careful. Now let him put his head up in the air. How many months old is Lyco? Ten months old. At even ten months, you can see he is an absolute powerhouse. 
solid muscle. Watch out for that horn. Little treats. <laughs> it's like, I'm he's not so scared of him, but it's like you don't know what he's gonna do. He is rather intimidating, even at this size. All he needs to do is swing his head once in the wrong direction. If he catches your knee, leg broken. So he uh, just doesn't know his own strength at this size. He's a very, very powerful animal. So we gotta be extra careful. Uh-oh, Mario's stuck in the corner. Or is it an electric fence? I didn't know if it was electric or not. No. That's how I was freaking out. Yeah, Outside. Yeah, cornered by a rhino, you know, just every morning routine, you know. Come on, Michael. Let's see. I'm gonna come right here. Yeah. Good morning. I'll eat the whole thing here. I'll get some out. Here we go. Thank you. Watch your, watch your camera. Oh. <laughs> here. oh, buddy, you feel just like an old baseball. Scratch. Okay, yeah, chin scratch. That's, that's good. You can see all the hoof marks on him from Dorothy. I didn't know what those scrapes were initially until I saw her jump up on him. That is so funny. The Zululand Rhino Orphanage takes in young animals whose parents have either become victims of poaching or, like in Lyco's case, were unable to properly care for them. Lyco will not be the last animal to thrive under the supervision of this orphanage. And like those before him, he will eventually be released back into the wild to carry on the future of rhinos as another survivor's success story. All right, well, there you have it. We got the chance to feed, hang out, and definitely romp around with a baby rhino. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. And uh, that's a perfect way to wrap it up. If you would like to adopt a baby rhino or a hippo, without having to clean up after it, this is your chance. Get involved by clicking this link to find out how you can support Africa's orphaned animals.